Good to see you, sir. As Senator Chuck Robb began the year, he quickly learned several people wanted his job. Republicans Jim Miller and Oliver North battled for the Republican nomination. And as for the Democrats, Robb was challenged by State Senator Virgil Goob and Richmond lawyer Sylvia Clute. Robb won the Democratic primary and North won the GOP convention. But then Republican Marshall Coleman and Democrat Doug Wilder decided to run as independents. The campaign quickly turned nasty. Even Playboy magazine joined the mudslinging with this retired U.S. colonel trashing Oliver North. He's a slick salesman and he's selling the people of Virginia and this nation a lot of bull droppings. Despite the criticism, North won the battles during the summer. He gassed up his... traveled across the Commonwealth trying to forget Iran-Contra. What do you think it's going to take during the campaign to the media and your critics to get past the former Iran-Contra figure and talk about Oliver North, the Senate candidate? I'm, as you know, Roger, I have very low expectations of the media, and it rarely fails to live down to them. Chuck, do you think character is an issue? Sure, it's an issue. In late June, the main event took place as all four Senate candidates squared off on CNN's Larry King Live. No one was declared a winner, but the worldwide exposure kept voters interested. Interest even led to Senate trading cards. When this race came along, uh, I, I just couldn't resist. By late summer, polls showed North with a slight lead over Rob, and Wilder and Coleman were trailing. I am here today to announce as the next United States Senator from Virginia, and I am in this race to stay. Despite saying he was in it until the end, by mid-September, Wilder realized it was time to get out. He left the withdrawal to a campaign aide. He understands that uh, this was not an issue of the people of Virginia rejecting him. It was more a matter of, the, of the, the difficulties of waging an independent campaign. Meanwhile, Coleman stayed in the race with Senator Warner's support as an alternative to the politically damaged Robin North. The people of Virginia want an alternative. They are tired of the private war between Rob and North, and they want an alternative. North raised a record amount of money, but by early fall, Rob was gaining momentum. We're going to do better. I'm, I'm told that a lot of people who've been calling into what are regarded as more Republican areas come back with very good results, so we'll have to just wait and see. Part of Rob's comeback developed when Wilder decided he would endorse his political nemesis for re-election. North called the endorsement a farce, and after months of mudslinging, voters just wanted election day to come and go. I'm going to get out of bed Tuesday morning and go to the polls and, and uh, select somebody. The somebody who won was Chuck Robb. Now that the election's over, all three politicians are worrying about their campaign debts. As Robb prepares for a new Congress, Coleman's back to being a lawyer, and North is preparing for a radio talk show. As for the voters, well, they're glad this election's over. In Richmond, Roger Harvey, WTVR, News Channel 6.